Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Black Mirror Panther Snatch, the new Black Mirror television movie basically because it's an episode of the series but it's also a really long movie because as you may know this movie has many endings and you can choose what the main character is going to do. Uh, first of all I'm going to explain what it is about and it's basically about a guy that makes a video game based on a novel written by a very deranged man and he presents it to a company and he's very happy because the company says yes you can do this video game for us but you have to do it on this timeline on this short period of time basically and he has uh, many uh, stressful times because of that and of course that ensues all the different endings you can land on basically the main Main story I would say it lasts for an hour and a half basically but if you choose many of the different endings it can take up to six hours or something like that to actually finish the television movie I watched almost all the endings I know I don't I have no idea if I watched them all and to be honest the main thing that I wanted to talk about this series is not really the fact that you can choose your own adventure because that's something that I feel it's going to be in the future of entertainment and I don't find it to be that amazing to be honest it's really obvious it's something that it's very easy to do right now so I don't know why people are like oh my god you can actually choose what the character does it's amazing it's not really amazing you can actually do that I, I think there were other uh, projects like this before I mean I don't think it's that groundbreaking I'm not surprised by it but uh, as this is a Black Mirror episode I think it's very important to talk about the content of the episode as itself. This episode is as crazy as all other um, uh, Black Mirror episodes because it's a very crazy story about a murderer, murderous kind of writer and this guy who is really uh, going to uh, dark places because he is uh, only living with his father and his mother died in an, an accident or something like that and he has very strange things happening to him he goes to the psychiatrist he he's on drugs for that prescription drugs so you know it's a really conflicted character and I think I have seen the same character like a hundred times on Black Mirror episodes he's a very recurrent character and that's where I'm kind of disappointed by this episode. To be honest, I don't find it that original. I have seen many more original things in other uh, Black Mirror episodes, in Black Museum, in Nosedive, Crocodile. Uh, you know, in every single episode, I have seen something that I'm like, whoa, that's new, that's really different. In this one, it's basically a guy waking up in the same day over and over and over, and you can choose whatever he does. And that's supposed to be surprising. And to be honest, it isn't. The screenplay is very, very, very lazy because the endings that you have are not really that surprising. There's only like one that is actually funny and I'm going to tell it because I don't care. But he actually realizes that he's in a TV series and everyone is like, are you okay? And he's like, okay, what's happening? And it's a kind of a funny uh, ending, but that's it. That's the funniest ending and like the most out there. The others are like, oh, he kills his dad. Uh, surprise surprise I mean everyone knew he was going to do that or that he's talking to the guy that's watching Netflix or, or the girl that's watching his episode and that was kind of funny when it happened at first but then afterwards it's like okay I get it. it it's it's kind of funny but that's it the screenplay for this could have been much much better the story could have been a better one I mean I have read these uh, choose your own adventure stories I read them when I was younger and they were really inventive and really took advantage of that that you could actually choose the adventure but this episode doesn't really take advantage of that and their characters are really lazy I mean again I have seen this character the one that Fionn Whitehead portrays he's from Dunkirk if you saw that movie he's a really good actor but it's not really something so surprising it's not really new it's kind of repetitive to be honest and the character Will Poulter you have seen him a lot of times in movies and Black Mirror episodes again so I don't know I mean it's not really that original and I'm kind of disappointed by this Black Mirror episode and I'm kind of disappointed that this is the only one that we are getting 
uh, now. Apparently, we will have to wait a little bit more for the other episodes, and that's kind of a bummer because I know that when they released a bunch of episodes, at least half of them would be really good, as in the last season. So you know, I'm kind of disappointed in that. In that, but it was a fun ride. Let's say it was kind of funny to see it. It has moments. It has some moments of interest, and you know, putting things of the other episodes in this one, and you know, talking about different things and you know the intricate like links between worlds and between dimensions and between ideas and between the brain and how powerful a person's imagination can be basically i think that's a very cool thing that this has going for it uh but again screenplay is too 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 fucking lazy to be honest i i, I am disappointed to be honest in black mirror i think they could have done a much better job to be honest but that's what we have. So yeah, this is everything that I have to say about this episode. Please comment down below whatever you thought of it. Like this video, share it on social media, subscribe to my channel, of course, and also comment other subjects that you may want me to uh, talk in other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.